Good morning, St. Thomas More. At this time, we would ask for all grade 9, 10, and 11 classes to please keep their TVs on for our presidential speeches. In a few moments, you will hear from three presidential candidates. The role of student council president is a huge undertaking. The president acts as a liaison between administration and the student council. They call meetings of the student council and its executive members. The president prepares the agenda for each meeting and is the chairperson of student council. They plan events, make announcements on Seymour. They are highly visible in the building. They host assemblies, they organize prom and semi-formals, they create spirit within the building, initiate activities for the student body, and so much more. They represent the students of St. Thomas More whenever the office requires it. We will now begin our speeches. Our first candidate is Mason Giovanangeli. Good morning, STM. For those who know me, my name is Mason Giovanangeli, and I am running for student council president. For those who don't know me, my name is still Mason Giovanangeli, and I'm still running for student council president. Now, what makes me qualified to lead this school into a year of prosperity and fun? Well, my leadership abilities can be traced back all the way to the fourth grade when I led the infamous Green Beams to the only undefeated dodgeball season ever recorded in Miss Wallace's PE class. I know, impressive. But I am here to remind you of better times, STM, pre-COVID times is that is where I intend to bring this school. As COVID restrictions ease and dissipate, our school's opportunities for doing fun things grows exponentially. And I believe I, no, we can fill that void. See, I believe a school is a lot like a burrito, for it isn't the wheat flour tortilla that makes the burrito special, but the ingredients inside of it. Just like how this building doesn't make STM special, but the students that do. Yes, STM students, I believe you are the steak or chicken. You are the cheese, you are the baked or refried beans, and of course, you are the $1.50 extra for guacamole. Yes, STM, you are the ingredients to an amazing school year, and I am just the humble tortilla that wants to bring us all together. You see, a president is nothing more than a civil servant, a voice for the masses, and that is exactly what I intend to be if elected. If elected, it is my promise, nigh my duty, to personally see that every single one of your ideas is heard by the council. I will do this by making myself as approachable as possible in the hallways, as I truly believe all of you are vital ingredients to making this burrito, I mean school, the best in the city. I cannot promise to make all these ideas happen, but I can promise to fight tooth and nail to make sure all of your voices are heard and considered by the council. STM, if you are willing to charge forward and take our school back to what it was pre-COVID, I'm the candidate for you. St. Thomas More, it is time to make your decision. So get hungry, STM, put the people in power, fold up that burrito, and vote Mason Giovanangeli to be your student council president. Thank you, Mason. Next, we will hear from Delina McConan. Good morning, STM. My name is Delina McConan, and I'm running to be the next student council president for the 2022-2023 school year. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I have a vision. My vision for STM is to see it thrive and flourish more than ever before next year. I want to see memories being made and accomplishments happening. I'd be a fresh face to the council and I have new ideas that I'm ready to bring to the table to make next year more enjoyable for everyone. I value you and your input and will continue to contribute my time, dedication and effort to ensure next year is made just for you. I'm super easy to talk to and want to hear your ideas to make them happen next year because I can and will be the best representative for each person in our diverse school community. Now, I'm a realistic person. I don't want to make any empty promises because if there's anything that the last two years has taught us is that nothing is for sure. I'm here to tell you that as president, I have a plan. I want to restore the school spirit and bring it to an all-time high by any means necessary here at STM. I want to showcase more of your talents and uniqueness and bring about more ways to unify our community. I want more spirit weeks to lead us into big games and more friendly competition between classes and even more events that everyone can take part in because those will make St. Thomas More even better in the fall. Help me turn these I wants into I will because I will do everything in my power to make these goals become a reality. As the grade 12s are on their last stretch, that leaves the rest of us here. Neither the grade 11s, the grade 10s, nor the grade 9s have experienced a normal year of high school yet. I, however, plan to make up for lost time by making next year amazing. 
After two full years of uncertainty, the one thing I can promise you, STM, is that with me as president, I'll make the next school year one to remember. So get excited with me. I care about you, your wants, and your needs, because I care about STM. I may be top 10 on honor roll, but I'd also be your number one president. So don't settle for less. Vote for me, Delina McConan, because I'm the best. Thanks, STM. Thank you, Delina. Our final presidential candidate is Alice Ockpair. Good morning, STM. My name is Alice, the grade 11 rep, running to have the honor of being president of your student council. Being up here is a bit nostalgic for me. I remember the first time I was up here giving my grade 9 rep speech. I was terrified to literal tears. For the record, I did win. Here I am, two years later, grade 11 rep, and I can say this ain't my first rodeo. As I was writing this speech, I was wondering, what would make you want to vote for me? Maybe I could talk about my experience and commitment to council, or how much I love the school, or maybe the fact that I've been on student council every year since grade seven and had the experience no other candidate has. But I realized, this isn't about me, it's about you. Yes, all of you, the wonderful students watching right now, the students who make a football game feel like the Super Bowl, the students with pride and spirit, and the students who tend to gather around Queens like it's the only place to get food. If I had a dollar for every time I've been asked for a dollar, I could treat you all for pizza. Listen, things are finally getting back to normal. We might have the high school experience robbed from us for the past two years. Grade 11s, you've never had a normal year of a high school. Grade 9s and 10s, you're just getting started. And this school, this building, has so much to offer you. I have so much to offer you. I have the experience to navigate through the upcoming school year. Serving STM as grade nine and 11 rep, there's an event I haven't seen, a dance I haven't planned, or a stair I haven't accidentally tripped on. From planning prom to selling candy grams, I've been around the block. If I am elected, I promise to give 110%, and St. Thomas More, I will do more. More events, more dances and more fun. We will have the best high school experience that's been robbed from us these past two years. Let's take it back. So vote for a president with experience. Vote for a president who knows what's up. Vote for Alice and make this school a true wonderland. Thanks, STM. Thank you, Alice. The results of this election is up to you, STM. At this time, and with teacher permission, we ask that students be permitted to log into their guidance counselor's LMS pages. On the announcement feed, you will see instructions on how to vote. You will go to class tools and then surveys. Click on the survey that reads presidential election and cast your vote. I believe it's the only survey listed. Be sure to click submit survey after you have voted and not save response. You may only vote once, so make sure your vote counts. Thank you so much and have a great day.